you still have that um, that disease or that anemia thing? <laughs> Were you disease? no? Where you bruise up and you kegel? Kegel. You smell like shrimp, Mardi Gras. Get out of here. I will bring your drink and your snack out there. They, we ain't having this in the house. Somebody call nine one one. The end. Houston, we have a problem. Hi, my name's Nikki, and I am a deckhand, professional deckhand, on a commercial shrimp boat based out of Southeast Texas. I know that you're probably wondering what on earth am I doing on a commercial shrimp boat? Well, let me tell you, the captain of the boat just happens to be my 87-year-old father-in-law, Captain Jerome Coons. And he's also the oldest shrimper in Southeast Texas. I'm uh, Jerome Coons, and I was 10 years old when I started. My daddy started, and I went to school for a little bit and quit. <laughs> he needed help, so I quit school and uh, been at it ever since. I started working on the shrimp boat about uh, two and a half years ago, and it just so happened that I was at a Monday night dinner. I was sitting next to my father-in-law, and he was telling me about an injury that he had on the boat, and I remember just thinking he worked by himself. Just kind of frightened me. I don't know, I, I talked to my husband about it, and I thought, I'm not working. I don't have any children. And I thought, I can be a warm body on the boat. I know I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Although he's the strongest man that I've ever met in my life, I know he can do it. I just think that there needed to be another body on the boat. I was working by myself and she said, you need some help. I said, well, you look like you're learning pretty good. So uh, she made a few trips and she got to be a pretty good hand. So I said, you got the job, girl. And she's been on here ever since. <laughs> she looks out for me. and. I, I think a lot of her and she thinks a lot of me, so we get along great. She loves him enough to be out there every day. And, uh, you know, of course, he's extremely important to all of us, so, you know, she's out there doing her best and she's helping him and keeping an eye on him. And, you know, we all appreciate it. Whether it's said or not, you know, my brothers, my sisters, everybody, they, they, they love her and they, they love her for it. We all live before. And I'm sure, you know, my dad does too. Well, we laugh every day. That girl will be fancy. <laughs> She's fancy shrimper, that shrimp diva. Hey. Okay. Hey, it doesn't go that way. <laughs> Look at the bottom. The bottom. Get your own pairs of socks you have. That's the most work you did all day. You know. That's, and he tells me he loves me every day. It's hard to put a value on that. My friends ask me all the time how long I'm going to be doing this, and um, the answer really is how long will Pops be here? So, uh, every day we get on the boat and I say hello, Captain, give him a hug and a you know, little hello. We go about our day and I don't know if he'll be there or if he won't. And I'm sure he will. I'm sure he's going to outlive me because he works me to the bone. I know that for a fact. He wants to pass on the water and there's probably a chance that he will. And I know that you never plan on something like that, but um, one day I know it will happen. And if it does, I just hope that I'm there with him. And I hope that he knows that he was loved. And, um, and if he doesn't, he knows that every single day that he steps off that boat, we're holding, we're holding hands as we walk down that dock. There's not one day I will not hold that man's hand. And walk down the dock and I give him a hug as he tells me, baby doll, I will see you tomorrow. And I hope that he does. It's changed my life, I know that for sure. Let me snot. Okay. I'm gonna have to say something. <laughs> Do not ever use that word with me while I'm eating again. It's not attractive. <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. <laughs> That's why I don't have kids. What problems do we face on the shrimp boat? I mean, the list is countless. I mean, it starts every day with, are there gonna be any shrimp? Because 
you know, it's a, it doesn't matter whether it's weather related or season related or deck deck hand deck problems. Hand problems for sure. That's probably top of the list. I guess I should have started there. <laughs> if you don't grow up in it, you're not just going to well go to school and say, man, I'm a I'm gonna be a shrimper. Or, you know, it's it's kind of like Pop says too. Not, He's like, oh, ridiculous. you're a greenhorn. I don't want a greenhorn on the boat. You know, a greenhorn is someone who doesn't know what they're doing. And like me, for the first entire, hey, 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 <laughs> the first entire year, I was a greenhorn and in the way. And I know I was in the way. But you don't learn how to do things until you screw up. But and really, when you screw I mean, up, honestly, you're, then you you're a greenhorn I mean. in, in yeah. this business for. For years, it's not a okay. So it's, it's not basically a, you're still calling me a greenhorn. For sure. All right. No doubt. Okay. Effort's 99 percent of the battle. That's right. The boat, so. That's it. Props. And you and you give a lot of effort. I'll give you that. Thank you. More effort than a greenhorn. <laughs> now that's one thing I will tell you is she is not a greenhorn at getting disgusting on the boat. I, I don't know how she's managed to become a pro at that so quickly. But I, I've worked on the boat for. 40 plus years and I could accumulate all that time and not smell as bad as she does in one day. <laughs> so I don't know if she lays in the cooler with the shrimp or if she rubs them on her face or if she puts a squid in her purse. I, I really don't get it. If she had friends who were shrimp, their trash outside in their garbage can would smell like she does when she comes up. So I, I, that's why she has to jump in the you pool. You know what I think because I'm chlorinated, heavily, heavily chlorinated pool. I'll take a shower. Got it. I think I'm so moisturized that that the juices and everything just like sure. they stick within my yeah. my skin. Yeah. My. Um, I pretty much pores. think it's user error. Like you came stuff. home. Yeah. You came home for like the last ten years smelling, and I never said anything. I just yeah. took your clothes. Nope. Washed them, folded them, and yeah, yeah I never said anything. Yeah. <gasps> oh, there's something. You didn't, you didn't. I did. I hit a perp. Oh, Trust me, I'm on it.